paid seven dollars. I hold on to these stamps. The stamps go up to fifty dollars a book. We know, well, we hope they don't go up to fifty dollars a book. But these go up to fifty dollars a book, and I wind up getting fifty dollars from this for this book of stamps because it's forever stamped. The forever stamp mean that you can forever use them forever and ever while you're in the prison. Yeah, you know I mean, it is what it is, man. But that's how we hustle fruit and it's going to leak out the holes into another bucket when you're done it's going to be white like this because remember it's just steam you know what i mean always do that but me i used to like to throw a little coke in my eyes you know what i mean make like a little rum and coke little individual you know join on how to make the wine so when you throw this thing in there you make a thing and let's say you take a, a, a iron you go buy an iron from the uh ordinary, from the head out of order you break the iron down and you just use the bottom part, take off the plastic part. All you want is the metal part. You throw the metal part in that bucket and you plug that joint in the socket. And when that iron get hot, like if you're going to iron the clothes, it heats up the wine that's been mm. sitting there for me. Mm. You know what I mean? So when that sit there uh, he heated up, it makes steam. The steam go to the top of the plastic bag. You understand what I'm saying? And you got a hose coming out the bag. You know what I mean? What? I'm going to show you how to do that later. But yeah. Yo, I, I got to give it to Unique, man. I think he went deep. I think he's gone deeper than anybody in the prison community has gone, dog. Like, you know, just a whole, like, when you think about prison, man, you think about, okay, these guys are in an isolated environment. These guys are confined. But in reality, it, there's, it, it's not like that. You understand what I'm saying? And, and you've got a whole economy going on in there. You know what I mean? Overdoses went up. I found a story. Overdoses went up in the prisons all across America like 400%. All these, and I'm like, yo, the inmates are getting hit with X-rays. So when you go into the jail, they have uh, technology that can X-ray your entire body. They have all of this equipment that they use now to make sure you're not smuggling anything in. But for some reason, the overdoses were up 400 percent. Let me try to find that uh, um, story real quick, man. Because I mean, but shout out to Unique because, um, like I said, man, where there's a will, there's a way, and the whole concept of the prison economy. The whole idea that, like Unique was saying, he actually was paying rent, buying video games for his kid, for his uh, little boy, from prison with those stamps. You know, he was generating so much stamps and converting it to money that he was actually contributing while in prison. And some guys generate so much money that they can put their kids through college, they can pay all the bills of their house, they can take care of their family from prison, sometimes from solitary confinement. And, yeah, Unique was doing his thing, man, and he's explaining all of that in that video, so go check it out. But, yeah, man, it's, hold on, let me, let me find something real quick. Overdoses up in prisons. Yeah, in American prisons. And it was up some crazy number. From 2001 to 2018, the number of people who have died of drug or alcohol intoxication in state prisons rose more than 600%. Whoa. Whoa.